All right, so wonder. This is the week we get suspended. Oddly enough, is it it, be, it it became one of the biggest weeks in wrestling in probably the past ten years. Biggest um, in a lot of things, but wrestling is definitely one of the hot topics now. Re- like I guess in terms of like positive things that happened. Yeah. Like wrestling is the it was like. Pretty holy mu- fuck week. Yeah, pretty much wrestling told us personally to hold our hold their beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Afghanistan here. Yeah. Hold that. Um a week of returns. Which I think they were all just like ping pong kind of All right, you got CM Punk, we raise you a, a Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And a Becky Lynch. You know what I mean? Um You think that's how it, you think that's what it was? I think totally. Totally. I think they. I. I don't think they wanted to bring those two back the same that same time. Gotcha. I think they they would want to spread that out normally, but they had to hit a huge. Especially SummerSlam. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. I think it was also because they weren't. They didn't know what to expect with CM Punk coming back. Mm. So it was a little bit of like let's precautionary damage control. Yeah. Because he might come in and just fucking drop Take everything. Over. Yeah. But let's talk CM Punk first. Because All this right. is something I was waiting waiting for for seven years. <laughs> Since the day he left, I've been waiting for him to come back. Are you disappointed where he came back to? Let's let's start. <laughs> let's start with the entrance. Okay. Entrance was amazing. Just, it was going to be what, it was going to be that no matter where he came back. Yeah. In the two top companies. Right. Um, while we were watching it, I said it, it was a Messiah-like return. It was? Yeah. It was... Uh, people were screaming. People were crying. crying. Uh, he was crying. He, You could tell he was choking back tears. Yeah. He was soaking in the moment. Uh, cult of personality playing. Yeah. It was, it was, it was what it should have been for the entrance. I, I personally believe... I, I'm always a sucker on sporadic returns so like for everybody just to be screaming CM Punk and he comes out it, it kind of just lost a little it did it, it, it lost a lot it lost a lot of zazz of what it could have been I told you when when it uh when he was announced yeah. originally I yeah. said that was my problem with it I just wanted him his music to hit and I'm coming out but and we go holy fuck yeah that I feel you when the people were going, holy fuck, it, it, it more was like, you're just doing that because that's the thing to do right yeah, now. Yeah, you're saying holy fuck because he actually came out now from all the chance. It's like, it's a, it's real now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, people were making fun of the guy crying. I mean. Yes. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I just saw it and the, what I, the fuck. I'm going to tell you why. Because I know you're probably going to go down the, uh, the beta route. I'm going to tell you why. There's there's very few things that I accept a man crying about, and sports is one of them. Oh, okay. So now AEW is <laughs> a sport. <laughs> Wrestling. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't choke back a tear when Ric Flair retired. No. That last match. No. Well, you are. Stone cold son of a bitch. <laughs> nah, that, that 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 didn't move me. It didn't move you. No. Nothing in wrestling ever moved you. Even as a child, you can you can bring those up. Edge return. And seeing his reaction was like. Because that was genuine. That was yeah. full on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Before let's not go down that route. But the, look, the guy crying. Of course, you're gonna get made fun of on the internet. Uh, that's AEW's yeah. fault for putting you on, the, on national TV. <laughs> that's his own fault for being a man crying over the next man. Return in uh, wrestling. I wouldn't have cried. I didn't cry when CM Punk came back, even though I've been anticipating right. it for that long. Um, you probably would have got a little bit more emotional if there was no anticipation. It, there was no announcements. There was no leaks. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That does take away a little bit. Yeah. Cause why are you crying? You knew he was gonna be there. Yeah. Yeah, I gave. I, I got you. It's, it's a bitch. Is it maybe being in the moment that that there's no excuse at that moment? 
<laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, he's a meme now. You're famous yeah. now, buddy. His quote definitely means something. I was there. I was there to see you cry like a bitch. All right, but you, you agree there is, like, certain, like, uh, you know, the birth of your children. That's something that, that you yes. can go, all right. You can cry over that. Of course. Yeah, yeah. A death of a family member. Of course. CM Punk returning. No. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't quite line up, does no, it? No, no. Yeah. Doesn't. I'll give you this. It was too much crying. I could get like a like a I'm smiling and a tear drops and you're like, I could, oh, I fuck. could, I could I'm even happy. I could take a, someone going completely fucking berserk. And tears are just flowing, yeah, just from the. Just, so, I would be taking a sweat, like you're just so hot in the face because of excitement. That. That's what I'm saying. If he was cr- if he was crying with a smile on his face, you might go. You might go. All right, I get it. You're no, just. No. <laughs> bro, this man was. This man had a, a like a this, wilted. This man. <laughs> emotional face. This man saw greatness return. And was just so happy for wrestling. <laughs> That's why he cried the okay, way he did. You know why I think I think we're looking at it different? He could be a younger guy. And that's why. No. Th- no, think about it. There's nostalgia attached to that more with him as a child than with us. Seven years ago was a long time. Yeah. That's a long fucking time ago. All right. But let's get to let's get to the meat and potatoes, All as right. Jr. would say. Um, I was extremely let down by his promo. I'll be honest. You were let down by the promo. I didn't really, I didn't really enjoy it. Like I enjoyed it because it's CM Punk back. CM Punk could literally read the recipe to fucking banana muffins, and it would be entertaining, right? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I, I'm saying what I expected was CM Punk to come back and when he did that part where he goes can I tell you a story and then he takes the jacket off and sits down yeah all of that shit I was you heard my comment I was like Jesus you you just went straight in the bag already which I'm I was perfectly fine with because I'll tell you why because it worked for the moment Mm -hmm. where he goes can I tell you a story he takes the third thing off he gets his promo for his his merch his new merch and then he sits crisscross applesauce and then everybody fucking cheered because they knew what that meant right. you know what I mean that means he he knows his character what I'm saying though is when he does that that to me signified and when he said can I tell you a story my fucking ears perked up because I was like alright this is the pipe bomb right. this is the he's about to drop it all and he didn't he just basically gave a baby face average promo that's probably in his contract. He probably can't take jabs. He took very light jabs at WWE, like where he goes, um, he goes, I left uh, pro wrestling. I left wrestling in 2005. Yeah. Meaning he he doesn't consider his re- WWE career as wrestling, wrestling. Yeah. Which to me, kind of annoyed me in the promo, because my thing was he should have came back. And started started dropping pipe bombs on why he left, like on the on the like legit thing. Even if even though he's done it in, in media already, mm-hmm. do it on an, on another wrestling show that takes it to a whole other level. Well, he did it in the soft way by talking about working with the young talents and the reason why he mm-hmm. wants to work with that talent. It was just literally talking the opposite of anybody he worked with at WWE. I think it was it was CM Punk taking the high road, meaning he was going. I know you want me to talk about WWE, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have to. That's pretty much what he did. Where he go? Where he goes? I left pro wrestling in 2005, meaning I'm not. I'm not even going to acknowledge my WWE career, yeah. which is complete horseshit, because that's what made him what he this, is. What he is now. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, people wouldn't be chanting your name right now if it wasn't for WWE. Exactly. What I'm saying is, you don't have to praise WWE but if you're gonna go in storyline this my fuck WWE promo right all these guys that come from WWE to AEW they all do some form of that promo right where they do the whole uh, I'm tired of grabbing the imaginary brass rings the whole Mm -hmm. 
to, they, they actually took that from CM Punk. Mm -hmm. So if the one guy that should do that promo isn't doing it, it kind of, it's kind of like, what do you, that's what we want you to do. Right. Um, I guess his new stick is just telling stories in a in a PG way to be a baby face. He's hugging crowd members and all sorts of crazy shit. It's the, like this. This is what I think is, and, and I I don't want to be negative on this because again I've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah, I'm as happy as anybody else. Um, I just wanted to see. I wanted to change wrestling, and this. Happy go lucky CM Punk isn't isn't gonna do it, honestly. That's why you gotta you gotta appreciate his WWE run and the fact that it created who he is now. Mm -hmm. Where he needs CM Punk needs an establishment to fight in order for him to be the old CM Punk that we know yeah. that we wanted. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um. He's coming out and doing promos. I saw another promo where he came out and he's like, I'm in a company that that listens to the people. And I'm like, I don't want to see CM Punk be a, a company man. Right. That's not what he is. That's not what made him CM Punk. I, don't, I, I think when the script was written, it wasn't for him to look or sound like a company man more than an opposing foe to another company. I think if you if you're gonna make subtle jabs at WWE, mm -hmm. either either do it or you don't. But I think you have to, just because we all know the story, and you can't pretend it didn't happen. Sorry, when he also says, "Oh, we have uh, I have some settles to score in the locker room," it's like to me I took that as like maybe a shot at Colt Cabana because they have issues. Mm -hmm. And then people go, oh, well, they're not going to actually cross paths because they have real issues. And it's like, yeah, but that's wrestling. Right. You're supposed to take real issues. No, and then... no, 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 no. That's not wrestling. That is wrestling. No, that's WWE wrestling. Don't get it confused with you're Japan. Right. Yeah. You're right. I got you. I got you. Yeah. No, but I think that is wrestling, though. No, like, that's... that's... That's old school wrestling. That's, that's the, always worked. That, that's the sub. That's the subline to WWE's wrestling matches. That's like this. What they do on the side. You're saying Ring of uh, Sorry, Ring of Honor. Uh, AEW is not going to do that. It's going to be more. I want to like he called out Darby Allen. Yeah. It was more of like Darby Allen. You're good. Uh, I want to see if I can still go. Yeah. So I'm gonna go against you. Like it's it's all respect. Yeah. And to me, CM Punk works best as an angry, rebellious you, son of a bitch. It's gonna be hard for you. It's gonna be cringy because he's not gonna go in there with the same WWE gimmick. He just can't. He can't because he likes AEW. Yeah. The reason why he was CM Punk, best in the world, was because. He hated, he hated WWE, WWE so much. Yeah. That's why the pipe bomb became a thing. If it wasn't for the hatred of the company, CM Punk's exposure and being as big as he is wouldn't have been as big. No, no. So, that being said, what are you going to expect him to do <laughs> going into any other company that he actually likes? That's what I'm saying. You, you, you don't say to me, as a guy who didn't like CM Punk before... His I didn't even know who he was. Right. And then when he dropped that pipe bomb, that's when, and you could call me a bandwagon fan or whatever, but that's when I became a CM Punk fan. And when I was like, when I was like, who the fuck is this dude? And who's to say, because they got people like that faggot that was crying in the stands. A writer didn't write that for him and was like, oh, 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 oh we just murdered WWE. They think it's a, a huge shot. A huge shot. He just said that there were real pro wrestling. Bro, there should have been the next day. There should have been CM Punk rips WWE on his on his first. You know what I mean? Like CM Punk but should have been a headline other than him returning. It should have been the think, shit he said. I don't think anybody at AEW wants to take give WWE any spotlight for any publicity for them. I can't. You can't say that because AEW does nothing but call out WWE. But it's but not. It's all subtle horseshit. It's subtle horseshit. So you can't have someone come up and be like, "I'm gonna come out blunt and say it," because that's 
it's killing what they, that that's the furthest they can do. I, th- I don't know. I think it, you I think, think they're not shit, allowed. Bro. Yeah, I think it's all legal shit, bro. Maybe, maybe it's, you're right. It's all legal shit. All this time now, two years, two and a half, three. Look, I'm not well. Okay, they yeah. They play it safe as fuck when it comes to talking about. You're right in terms of like back in the day where they would say Vince McMahon yeah. on WCW, and even even vice versa. It's very. WWE, the bigger network, don't really cut hard jabs at them. They, they don't cut jabs, but I've heard them mention AEW yeah. on promos and stuff. Like, yeah. so I don't think there's an illegal thing to it. Maybe on AEW side, it's, it's, it's um, what's, what's the word? Um, the flamen- the flamation. Look, this is all I'm asking for is some some goddamn storyline, some storytelling. We know what we know. The shtick. That's the story. That's the new story. The story can't just be I'm I'm here, just to test out my, my to see if I could still go. No, it's also it's that's not, a personal horseshit. Nobody cares about. Not also nobody's gonna sorry sorry. Nobody's gonna care about eventually. I should say. All depends on where the storylines goes. These people, all the young ones, probably gonna come out to try to destroy his career. And for you to have that opinion on when he said I got issues in the locker room, I took it as he's going after all those niggas that he didn't like in WWE. He's going Chris Jericho, all of them that's there. Maybe. But I th- I think what should have happened is somebody should have interrupted him and came out and, and instead of him calling out somebody. Yeah, that's like, always that's always the Yeah, but that's I, you know, it you know, works. You know what I think? You're, you're you're becoming one of those old guys, bro. <laughs> but it, no, that's what it is. I, I, you, you, what it, are, what does it make any sense for him to just randomly call out Darby what, Allen? What does Why? it make What does it make any sense for another network to be exactly like another network? No, no, no. This is what I'm saying cuz WWE WWE would never go here, right? Mm-hmm. If CM Punk's making let's say his second promo, mm-hmm. right? He's cutting his promo and fucking Colt Cabana comes out because they have real personal issues. Yeah. He comes out and goes, look, we used to be friends, blah, 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 do the whole shtick, right? Mm-hmm. And have that be his first fucking program. You went, Me- you revert right back to a WWE. That's not WWE. That. That's, that's two, wrestling. Which two, which two people personally in any other company went at it with their same personal beef as a storyline? Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, one of the greatest storylines ever told. WWE. But that's the, but okay. Uh, what do we? What do you want me to go back to? Like fucking w- Texas no, Championship like Wrestling, WCW or something like that. ECW. There was a lot. They, Chris Jericho, Goldberg. That was a, that was a big uh, that was a big storyline at one point. Okay. And it was, I'm telling. There was a lot. All right, the NWO storyline. That was all. Like kayfabe reality, like where it was like that yeah, strum we, that strum line from WWE. It, that, that's because WWE was the monopoly, at the like it is the monopoly. So you're gonna have to play off that because you're bringing in all WWE guys. So if every other WWE guy cuts the the fuck WWE promo, why isn't the guy who created the fuck WWE promo? Not doing it. He didn't create it. He was more of the saying it out loud. <laughs> right, right. But this is what I'm saying. Is why, like, I don't want to see CM Punk fight based on I want to gain respect. Legals, bro. That doesn't matter. What I'm saying, even if it's not WWE, I'm saying storyline. I don't want to see this, every storyline be... I want to see if I can still go. I want to gain my respect. You you think after you think it's just gonna that. be you think it's gonna be a one match thing with him and I think it's gonna be a bunch of this. CM Punk wrestles Darby Allen. They have a great match, right? Or CM Punk doesn't have it anymore. I'm yeah. just I'm just putting out options. Or they I think they're gonna have a great match, and then they're gonna do the whole we look at each other and then we hug out or of shake respect. Hands. No, they're gonna hug. No, that's not gonna happen. That's gonna happen. And that, and let me tell you why I hate that shit. It's because it kills future storyline. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. Go ahead. They're gonna go into a feud for for a few pay per views. 
just due to the fact it's going to be new school versus old school and he's going to feel like he's going to be able to destroy or like retire CM Punk you think you could just come back and headline I'm this who sacrificed doing that it's going to be a whole bunch of that horse shit I don't think so I don't think they I don't, you don't think, think they see him, see him think, Punk coming back and just going straight the pay-per-view they're not going to run off that being they had to give him a, a first match Pay-per-view. I'm just saying I don't think Darby Allen is the and I don't know AEW's crowd or whatever but I'm just saying in terms of like the casuals who are us yeah are you excited about Darby Allen versus CM Punk I'm not excited about anybody AEW versus CM Punk I would have been more excited Kenny Omega. At least I hate Kenny Omega and I love CM Punk. The thing is... At least I'm invested in that. I see it as you've been gone for seven years. You're going into a whole new company. You're headlining. You're not headlining, but you're going straight into a pay-per-view for your first match against somebody that's up and coming They have in to the go company. pay-per-view for his first match, though. They have to make that money. They're not... Someone's not going to not say to him... You think you could just come back old school and, and, and be this hoorah person? Someone's going to pu- call them out on this shit. It's going to be some kind of feud with that. And I think it's going to be that MJF nigga. Because he seems like the one that's going to be that, the trap mount. That would have been goddamn perfect. That's what they're leading up to. Have, have him come out doing his messiah shit, CM Punk, and then MJF comes out and fucks it all up. That's all... That and then that's instant storyline, instant I think program. They, I think they're pushing this whole Sting persona on Darby. He did do, he does do the whole math mask thing, but I didn't see Sting. But when I when I heard him call out Darby Allen, I was like, huh? They got two of the you know two styles that will actually do well in the ring. That's together. why I said I think they're gonna have a great match. So you can't discredit that. Maybe he, maybe he, maybe it. That's like his first ally, so to speak. Perform. I, I I think CM Punk's going for performance over wrestling. Over yeah, wrestling over performing. So you uh, you don't think he's gonna be the pipe bomb guy anymore? No, he's gonna go for being the wrestling guy. <sighs> but the, is that what you want? I know CM Punk can wrestle. But that's what I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We 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 we've been here bitching about <laughs> no no good wrestlers anymore, <laughs> and he's back to do some good wrestling. I mean, I could I could deal with no a I little think, better promos than the way he just served, but I think there's I think there's great wrestlers. I I always say this. I think the wrestlers now are better athletes and better wrestlers. Better than, athlete, better flippy flippy adudas. Yeah. That, that's what I mean, though. Okay. But when it comes to, like, all right, let's put the flip here in the match instead of doing 16 of them. Like, let's strategically place it. That's what's missing. Let's stop you bunching up flips. six people knowing that you're about to jump out the ring. Yeah. Or how about me and you are having a match? Or you're having a match and I'm having a match with two separate people. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, wait a minute. Are you doing the uh, flip over the rope tonight? Yeah, I'm doing that. All right, I'll do something different. Yeah. That's what they used to do. You get what I mean? But that's when they used to be like a... How can I explain it? Wrestling, I think it died after like the the universe era. Wrestling used to be like a union, a brotherhood, more like a... A hey, circus. Hey, fame. Yeah, circus. Yeah. So to speak. So they're like, yeah, so we're going to do this and do that. Oh, yeah, are you doing that tonight? Oh, uh, I want to see you. Hey, if you do that, you owe me a beer. You right. know, that used to be their, their friendship type of shit. Right, right. I don't see that happening now in the back in the back of the season. Yeah. I don't see, I think they're all just worried about themselves twittering, social media their life away, bro. Twitching. Gamers. Like, guess, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they're not caring about. about cards and right. shit. They're yeah. worried about themselves. So that being a worrying about their podcast after, well, fu- they all, everybody, every profession now just became so fucking like celebritized, bro. Like it, yeah. they feel so obligated and feel so pompous. It's not <laughs> like back in the day when fucking you know Bradshaw, Farouk, and the Undertaker were drinking whiskey before the match and dr- smoking cigars and right. shit. 
Yeah, the rock spitting go- into a cup. And, and so cold going up to the rock and saying, "Hey, y'all, beer's on me tonight. If you if you fucking out, beat your stunner flip." Yeah, that yeah. actually happened. You know what I'm saying? And then even like um, where who was it? DX or somebody would mm-hmm. point out bitches in the crowd. Yeah. Like, all right, they're gonna come back. Right. And fuck them at the hotel. They would say the hotel that they're staying at, so the bitches would bitches come, would to, come the to the hotel. hotel. <laughs> all that shit was more of a circus union act. It was men. Yeah. It was men, real men. Real men. Yeah. Well, I, I I mean I'm I'm still positive to a degree on CM Punk. I'm ho- I'm hope this is what I think, and this last thing I'll say is I think he's eventually gonna have to, and it's it's gonna be one of those middle ground things. He's gonna have to go heal at some point. Yeah, he's and start go without, finding shit to be pissed off at. And it can't. It's not gonna be WWE. They're gonna have to manufacture shit like where maybe he starts having issues with the company. I still think he's contracted the Fox. Maybe I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. So be a conflict of interest if he talks shits about WWE. Maybe, maybe. So he has to be very subtle. Yeah. I don't know. He could. He. I'm. This is where CM Punk's professionalism. I'm relying on is he's as the wrestler. He's supposed to find something. Find something to be pissed off at. When could he come out? If if let's just say. He couldn't talk about WWE because of legal reasons. What can he come out after seven years and be really mad at rant about and be the CM Punk? He's going to have to. Yes, for years. He's going to have to reinvigorate it by. Uh, I think I, I think CM Punk doesn't love the fans as much as he's portraying that he does. On here, meaning meaning this, I think he loves his fans, but he doesn't like the wrestling fan, the quote unquote wrestling. I don't fan. think he even likes to wrestle no more. I think he just <laughs> needs to now. Some of the it doesn't. Okay, I'll give you an example. A bunch of the wrestling fans yeah. were making fun of the guy who cried, yeah. right? And CM Punk got on Twitter and defended him, right? I think what CM Punk should have done. Hold on, but this is why. If anybody's gonna defend him, it should be CM Punk. The guy's crying for him coming back. Why wouldn't you defend that, right? What? This is what I'm saying. CM Shine Punk. Shine your old balls, why don't you? <laughs> listen, listen to what I'm saying. See, he's a wrestler. Not everything. It's not real, right? Okay. He could make up a thing of of look, you guys are being fucking assholes to one of my fans. Mm-hmm. So you're not my real fans. You get what I'm saying? As as CM Punk the character. Okay. That's the turn on the fans that he could have. He has to turn on the fans. Gotcha. And it has to come from something that he he could conjure up anything. I don't think it could be on Twitter or anything like that though. It has to be on the show. I think I think he I think he hates the fans the way I do. The smart wrestling fan. That that they All right, I'll give you an example I was going to bring up later. Mhm. Baron Corbin, right? Hold on, hold on. We're not going to talk about him yet. Yet. <laughs> Somebody goes, Hey, actually, you know, Baron Corbin's really rich. And they post up his salary. Mm-hmm. And they go, see, this isn't ri-. And it's like, D- motherfucker, did you also believe that mankind really lived in a boiler room? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we believed it because we bought into the storyline. Yeah. We were watching a TV. Can you just shut the fuck up? And watch the storyline. We know Baron Corbin's rich. We know he's not really poor. He's making it to every show. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's like let, let's there's suspension of disbelief, and uh, th- there has to be a little bit of like I have to make up some shit. Is it? Sorry, go ahead. But. I don't even believe half of commenters anymore. That's talking. I think they really are just being trolls. <laughs> I think they're, they're trying stuff. I think they're trying to get the the Dave Meltzer. Like, oh, he's a smart guy. He <laughs> he did his research. It's like, why are you doing research on that? Because he was an idiot. I was like, is Baron Corbin really poor? And his salary popped up. I was like, oh, look, guys. I did the research. I, I don't think anybody's that stupid unless you're a kid. Unless you're a little kid. If he came with the <laughs> facts that he wasn't poor, he would, did some sort of research. I think it's trying to... It, it's like trying to... It's not wanting to... I get it. WWE's burned the fans for many years. So, like, I get the I get Vince the WWE. Was the last straw. 
I think it's just people don't they they don't want to they don't want to give WWE any like it's like an abusive relationship, and the person goes, "Look, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm I'm gonna be good now." <laughs> and you go, "No, you fucking hit me too many times." <laughs> Every time WWE says something, they look at someone else for confirmation. <laughs> Is this true? Okay, keep yeah. watching. All right, last, I'll give you the last word on CM Punk. Um, I'm personally not too enthused to see what he does next. Everybody in the comments are going to be like, oh my God, but he's CM Punk. You're not a real wrestling fan because you're not... It, it, it was already expected that he was coming back. So that whole cheering of everybody going ape shit like they never knew he was coming is ridiculous. Y'all had 12-inch signs, individual lettered CM Punk right now. Yeah. <laughs> you guys... I'm so fucking surprised. <laughs> He's holding the M. <laughs> I was like, uh, it, it, it's just another average return for me. It, it didn't, it didn't woo me anyway. And I, maybe because it's also AEW. Maybe if he came back, WWE was like, y'all motherfuckers could hold me back. Like that would have been some shit. Regardless if they knew he was coming back or not, you just knew he was coming to say some shit. You just, we never knew what he could come out to say here. So we all had our own beliefs of what was going to happen. And like you, like me, we're all disappointed. It's just not. The second half of it disappointed us. Yeah. Did you, were you, did you like the entrance, Ellie? Did you feel that at least? I, I, I felt for the room. Got you. Yeah, like if you the, were in the room, you'd be. Yeah, I felt the moment. You'd be, see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. on, on a level of crying though. No, I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. There's no wrestler that could have came back and I cried like that in in that timing. I bet you if Eddie Guerrero came back. (laughs) But that'd be that'd be a resurrection. Yeah. You have to any resurrection. That's crazy. The mailman dies and he comes back, you gotta cry. That's that's crazy. Yeah. (laughs) But for yeah, I can't see any wrestling attitude era that I would have Tear it up for it if they came back. I I don't know. I can't. I, know. I think of retirements. Retirements get me because okay. it's like that's it. It's over. That's the, that's the wrap up of the career. I know. I had more holy shit reactions to returns more than the CM Punk. I've never cried for a return. No, no. but I, I remember running around the living room, diving into the couch, screaming into a pillow type shit because someone came back. Yeah, yeah. But not no crying, but like, yeah, he's back. Yeah. When Undertaker came back as American Badass, I fucking flipped my shit. Right. Just because it was fresh, it was new, it was crazy as fuck. Yeah, when yeah. Um, Triple H came back and he was swollen, I was like, "Holy From shit!" Any injury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when um, McIntyre came back, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, you know, just better the, OMG moments. A, a, a wrestling return is always great. Yes, but it, it's I feel you. Like th- this, I understand the emotion. Seven years gone. Yeah. This is return. I get it. Um, but yeah, I feel you. It would it wouldn't have made me cry. Um, I was just making the point. I understand your team wins. You know what I mean? For I've cr- I've I've cried because I won. I literally won baseball games, not my team. Yeah. Like I I played baseball. So mm. when you win a championship, it's kind of like all right, we worked hard for this shit. Yeah. So it's a it's there's a manly moment of like. That's different. It's baseball. But you're not. Yeah, you're not. You're not like weeping like bitches. Yeah. Yeah. 